Hi, this is David from Helibatics.com. Today I'd like to show you how to use 16 channels on the FreeSky X8R with S-Bus. So as you, pr as you probably know, uh, here's an X8R receiver, and we've got the S-Bus port right down on the bottom right here, and then we've got the other eight PWM pin outputs along the top. Now, the S-Bus connection always has uh, all 16 channels on it, so the first way you can get 16 channels on your X8R is simply to use uh, an S-Bus decoder like this right here. And this will plug into your S-Bus port and give you f uh, the ability to have four PWM channels uh, right out of the end of that. And those can be programmed to be any channel you want, such as 9, 10, 11, 12. And you can Y-connect a couple of these together and then have uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 and then have your first eight channels right here on the uh, on the receiver on the PWM pins right on the box. Now also I want to mention before you can do that you need to bind Let's your go, receiver PX. Throttle warning. You need to bind your receiver in the correct mode with the right number of channels. So you want to go to your model setup page on page two and go to the module, the, probably the internal module was where you'll be using, and make sure first of all that you're in D16 mode right here. You've got to be in D16 mode to get 16 channels. And then make sure you've got your channel range set to be 1 through 16. You can use, you can, you can set this to be fewer channels if you want to, uh, but for this example I'll just go ahead and assume you're going to want 16. And then bind your receiver as you would normally and you'll be in D16 mode with all 16 channels active. All right, now, this is something else you'll need is the servo channel changer. When you have your decoder right here, in order to be able to program which, which uh, channel these, these four pins are, you need a channel changer. And this will hook onto each channel and allow you to set uh, which one that is, which channel it's gonna be. So you can also have more than one channel uh, on, you can have the same channel appear more than one time. So you could have all, uh, you could have every set of pins, for example, be the same channel to drive a, um, uh, like a large wing on an airplane, for example. All right. Now, the next way that you can use <coughs> the uh, all 16 channels. And this is a, this is something that I do. <clears throat> I, since I fly multi rotors, I want to be able to use uh, the S bus output for my flight controller on channels one through eight. And then the other channel, uh, you know, the other outputs here. Uh, since I since one through eight is not being used here, I can reprogram the receiver to make these channels be nine through sixteen. And here's how you do that. You want to put a jumper on pins 1 and 2 like this and another jumper on pins 3 and 4 like so. So I've jumpered 1 to 2 and 3 to 4. Now bind it like this uh, okay so there's the receiver ready for binding and on my radio I'm simply going to press bind and you see the light flash on the receiver indicating that it has bound. So now we can go back out of that. I'm going to go into the model again and I'm going to go to the mixer page and you'll see here that I've just got the standard channel, uh, four channel uh, throttle aileron elevator rudder on channels one through four. So that is basically available on the S bus which, what I, which I would plug into my flight controller. If I go down to channel nine you can see I've got switch A on channel 9. So what I can do, let me let me power cycle this now, take these jumpers off. So now if I plug my servo into pin 1, pin 1 is actually channel 9. So if on go back to my radio, so um, channel 9 has uh, switch A. Now when I so when I flip switch A, the servo will actuate. So this proves that the configuration is correct such that uh, channels uh, 9 through 16 are actually appearing here on the, on the receiver where they're marked as 1 through 8. 
and this happens as a result of binding with pins 1, 2, and 3, and 4 jumpered. So this makes it easier to utilize uh, SBUS for your flight controller um, or CPPM. You can also you can use one of these. You can use an SBUS to CPPM converter to plug in the SBUS from the X8R, and that gives you CPPM output that you can plug into a flight controller such as an APM uh, or various various others that use CPPM. Now here you can see uh, an X8R installed in my octocopter, and uh, on the very bottom you can barely see it, but there's a there's a cable connected to the S bus port, which goes to the flight controller right here. And then I've also got an RSSI connection plugged into the bottom left, and then on the top right you can see that that uh, connector going to pins one, two, and three. So that's actually uh, nine, ten, and eleven. And so I've actually, I'm actually using nine and channels nine and eleven to control my gimbal, which is right down here. All right, so you can see I've got a Feiyu G3 uh, two-axis brushless gimbal. This has uh, controls for pitch and roll that you can operate from the transmitter. So you can see right here. If I turn this dial, you'll see the camera go down. And if I turn it back the other way, you'll see the camera go up. And if I turn this dial over here you'll see the gimbal roll left and right. So basically this uh, is demonstrating I have the first eight channels going through SBUS to the flight controller and then uh, the, the last eight channels are available to me for other things and I'm, I'm using them for the gimbal controls. So I hope that makes sense. And If you have any questions about it, uh, please let me know. I can make additional videos to explain other things. Thanks a lot.